In today's video I want to talk about landscape photography and I'm giving you a very powerful composition tip. I apply it myself multiple times in the past couple of weeks in header landscapes. The header is blooming right now in my country, the Netherlands. It looks fantastic, it's beautiful, especially during foggy sunrises. So I will show you a few photographs and this tip doesn't apply only for header landscapes but it applies to any landscape so if you're into landscape photography check this out so when you talk about landscape photography and composition the first thing maybe that comes into your mind is the rule of thirds and leading lines and I want to talk about leading lines but not the obvious ones so if you have a landscape and let's use this photograph as an example this is pretty clear there is a path going down into the landscape that's a very clear leading line you can use and it's a wonderful subject you can integrate in your photograph but those strong leading lines are not always there so if i switch back to the other photograph for example this one if you have nice header landscapes you can just find your tree and put your tripod in the field and just shoot the photograph right away but what you have in the foreground differs a lot and it really depends on where you are as a photographer and that's I think the art of the composition to find the right spot and even if a landscape maybe feels like yeah, it doesn't matter where I'm going and where I'm standing because the circumstances are nice anyway you can still benefit from leading lines and they're not very obvious all the time but if you look good to this photograph for example the header here is quite visible also this part is quite good visible and here in the background and here in this corner it is still there but it has another color it's not so visible as the rest and because of that you create kind of a leading line from the right bottom up to the left top and then you end up in the tree so also in this photograph there is a leading line and suppose I do a few steps to the left or to the right then the composition will be completely different maybe you cannot benefit from uh, this line anymore so even in a landscape like this you should look very carefully to uh, all the elements in the foreground uh, to see if you see something that looks like a line so to show you another example for example in this photograph here everything basically is purple from the header and well, the sun rise is here in the background the first light just hit the header so the night the light is very nice here in the foreground but even here you can see some lines so for example here you see a line and that's because the header here in the foreground is a little bit higher than here in the background and also from here from the right side so basically you have kind of an arrow here that really helps this composition so sometimes it seems like you cannot benefit from any line in the landscape but if you look very careful uh, you will figure out there are less obvious lines so let's see if i have some other good examples also here in this uh, photograph do you like landscape and cityscape photography sign up for our free facebook group and learn more about landscape and cityscape photography we organize nice photo challenges you can help each other out you can share your own photos so sign up join the group and see you there uh, there is a path here on the right side uh, i wish it wasn't there it's not uh, i can cut it off here but i think it felt a little bit too narrow but even here you can see some lines so for example here in between uh, you have the header here and here but here in between there's I think nothing because of that you can see a little bit of depth 
and a line is created and the same thing is here you see a little bit kind of uh, a line that goes in direction of the tree this photograph also I was really walking around a lot here in uh, with this tree uh, this is an autumn morning uh, the sunrise was not so beautiful as in the first photograph but it was still a very nice morning but also here uh, there was a landscape full of heather in some places a bit more or a bit less and i tried to find a line that went into the direction of the tree and in the end the line is not created with the header here but with the green spots in between the header so also this line leads you to the tree and this really helps the composition again so the tip of this video is even if you're in a landscape full with plants and trees and uh, maybe it looks like a jungle nine out of ten times you can find a line and maybe it's not super obvious the line sometimes the light is created by uh, the light sometimes the light so i mean the, uh, the bright parts and the shadows sometimes the line is created by the objects like we saw in uh, this photograph that really the, the the header is creating a line so check out the landscape and sometimes um, i just walk around for 10 15 minutes to see those lines or to discover those lines so if you don't see it right away uh, that's normal because if i just walk here in the field i also don't see it so it takes time to discover it so take your time to create your photograph well, hopefully this was learned uh, that you learned something from this new video um, soon i will create more videos about uh, photography about the photos i took recently if you have a specific question please let me know and if you like this type of tutorials please let me know in the comments below give this video a thumb and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel